y'all is crafty hope here with icad number 11 um i'm gonna remind you icad it stands for index card a day and often has prompts that go with it i have information and links about all of that below today the two prompts were library and lace and i am going to use both of those as you can see i've already got a library card catalog card um, I looked up and found a batch of these on eBay and had, well, I'll tell you, I looked for them because I realized I really wanted some library card catalog cards. I am a big nerd and grew up using the card catalog. It's my dream to one day actually own one of the actual um, furniture pieces, the, the card catalogs, <laughs> and not just the cards, but... I looked on eBay, found a batch of the um, of the cards that I could get, and bought them. So I am incorporating those, well, one of those, into this iCAD. And you can see I've already, for the second prompt, is lace. And so I've got a piece of rust-dyed lace sitting over there on the side. And we'll get to that in a little bit. So right now I've used my Uhu glue stick and glued down that card, a piece of rusty music paper, and a piece of, I think that may be rust-dyed phone book, actually. That either rust-dyed or, I think rust-dyed, yeah. And then I've got some uh, turquoise acrylic paint that's from Lucas. And so I just kind of squirted down a couple blobs and I'm using a flat palette knife to smear it around. And it almost immediately covers up my card catalog card, but that's okay. We're going to work another piece of that in in a minute. Before drying it, I decided to grab this. It's Dr. P.H. Martin's acrylic ink, I believe, and it's in copper. I There's something about turquoise and copper that just, to me, really go together. And I wanted to use some acrylic ink, so I said, let's go for it. So I'm just going to put a couple drops down. That uh, dropper is getting um, a little old. And so it's no longer like sucking up the acrylic ink. So I've bought some, some little eyedropper things to help me out. So and I used that same um, palette knife there to just kind of blot out and move around that acrylic ink just to get some color on it. Yep. And from there, I'm probably going to dry this. Yep, sure am. <laughs> then I've got my Stabilo All Pencil in Black. This I love this move of just taking that and doing some scribbles. I'm also going around the parts of the card where the white from the index card is showing. And just adding a little bit of dark there to, so that that pure white isn't so obvious to me it, it felt like it was screaming look at me you messed up you didn't cover me up and um so I had to fix that <laughs> I had to get it to stop shouting at me so I quieted that with some stabilo and I'm just kind of dragging the color around um the scribble there as usual I wet a couple spots but not all of it and then I'm gonna dry it now this is also a Lucas acrylic paint in just titanium white and I'm going to take a regular old pencil and use the eraser end to basically create a dot stamp. So I'm going to dab that into my white paint and just put some, some white dots over on my card. That card was feeling a bit dark and heavy and I needed, I needed to lift it. And I knew white was going to be a good way to do that. So I'm bringing that in just to to give it a happy little bright lift and um, I love using the little easy stamp method with an, an eraser. All right so there is the center portion of my card catalog um, that I kept because it has the hole in it which is where those cards fit into the card catalog and so I put a little bit of the Stabilo on there and just kind of moved around to darken it and I'm throwing on a little bit of that copper acrylic ink on there and I'm going to wet that as well I think and let it kind of move around and basically I've just made myself a little tag <laughs> is all I've done so I've got that there I'm going to dry it and I'm playing around I have some um it was some book pages that had acrylic, not acrylic, had gesso on it, and I had stamped it and cut them out just to have some little focals 
about. And I've got some some pieces of fabric that I had I mentioned in my last video. I think I also used one that I had made these altered fabrics as part of the fodder challenge. Um, it's on Willa.Wander's um, her teachable site with the lessons, but it's several artists had lessons of things to do with fodder, with collage fodder. And I had all these, anyway, I had all these pieces of ribbon out. <laughs> um, not ribbon, yeah, all these pieces of fabric out. And I was trying to incorporate that one that I've got there that's kind of beigey. I believe it's part of a canvas drop cloth that I um stole from my husband, basically, when our shed got destroyed or our barn got destroyed in a hurricane. We had to move everything out and some of it we had to get rid of. And I, um, yeah, well, I grabbed that canvas drop cloth and was like, oh, I'm going to use this <laughs> in the craft room. And he was like, fine. Um, anyway, so I've taken that ribbon there, my rust dyed ribbon, and just done a half inch knot onto that hole that was there already. And I'm trying to work in that piece of drop cloth there. I end up not using it. After that whole long story, I just told you, I'm sorry. Um, I end up not using it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have this little piece of white fabric that I had painted just some little little lines on and I'm going to cut it off of my fabric or off of the rest of the fabric and use it as a backer on that little heart focal. Now that stamp that I used I believe is a Finnebear stamp. Um, I could be wrong but it's part of a set so... Um, I realized there that my little dots were not yet dry, so I dried them. And I'm trying to figure out where to put that tag that didn't seem so, um, seem so wrong. So here I turned it sideways and it felt just right. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and start gluing things down. At least I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Pretty sure. So I grabbed my matte gel medium and my palette knife because that card catalog that library card catalog card is kind of heavy it's the way that index cards used to be um pretty thick and so I'm going to put that down and then put my fabric down on it and then my little stamped heart and then I'm going to go looking for a sentiment and I'm going to use my art by Marlene stickers I think no no I'm sorry that's not what I'm going to use it's the Tim Holtz clippings stickers and I find the phrase very kind hearted and so I'm going to put that on my card because I don't know there's a heart on there and y'all I have to admit hearts are not my jam that's not a symbol that resonates with me and I've already done two cards with hearts on them so it's kind of throwing me off um, and it makes me get very punny and so yeah, there's a heart. I'm going to use the term with a heart. Yes, that's what I do. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that there and then I'm going to use my Stabilo All to just kind of give a little shadow underneath that sticker. And when I'm sticking it, that sticker there in the end, I decided it was best because it was also onto that card tag so it, it combined it a little bit more. It made it feel more like a whole piece. And I think that may be it for this card. Um, oh, I may go around some of the areas with that Stabilo just because there's some little bits of white that weren't vibing with me again. Um, at least I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah, see, there's a little bit of white up there <laughs> that's screaming at me again. So I'm going to darken that real quick and that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Make sure to come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday right now. And I'm doing these iCads. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Keep on crafting on. Bye.